In today's video, we'll be taking our electric Surons deep into the Alpine wilderness. We will be riding over 5,500 feet in elevation gain. We will face challenges with the route and our equipment. Join me on today's adventure as we push the limits of electric technology. All right, morning of. Time to head up into the mountains up in there. Spent last night at camp. Got the bikes all set up, ready to go. Ultra B is about to go conquer the wilderness. And then we also got a 300 riding with us. So yeah, camp was good last night. Late night, cause Josh got in super, super late, but we're at it. Late start to the morning, it's getting hot. Yeah. But we're gonna get it done. So we will catch you on the bike. Let's roll. All right, time to go do this thing. So yeah, we got a little bit of a road ride to get up to the trailhead. And then we will hop on the trail and see what we can get ourselves into. <clears throat> First ride back, a little bit nervous, but we will be good. All right, started the tracker, we're at zero miles. Let's see how far we can make it on the Ultra B. Come on, boys, giddy up. Yeah, this place, this is cool. I have never been to this part of Washington. There are so many people out this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so everybody's getting out, camping. There's so many people here. It's nice though. Being on the river, even if people are noisy, you don't really hear them. All right, we just put a gummy on this bike, so I'm gonna try not to burn it up on the road. I, th I think we go this way. We stick to the original plan. And then if it's fucked, you can say you were right. Brother! The breeze feels nice. It's gonna get hot though when we're up in the up in the single track, working our ass off. We brought some snacks for lunch. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It's about 26 miles, so figure if we're going five miles an hour, average or 10, um, probably take us a few hours. We'll stop for lunch and pictures. Our buddy Paul brought his drone, so you guys are gonna see some sweet drone footage this trip. The fucking bees, baby. Bees are out in full effect. Down to 97%, we're two miles in. It's a perfect day for this. The visibility is so clear. So we should have a really good shot. We should be able to see Mount Baker, Mount Rainier. Maybe we'll see Mount Hood. And then uh, looking north, we'll see up into Canada. All right, so I think this this cuts us over back to the trail that we're, like, that we're gonna go up, and then this looks like it drops us out right above horse camp. All right, so the trail marker. So yeah, we're gonna climb up like 4,000 feet in elevation today. Should get pretty crazy. Woo. Up we go, up we go, come on, baby. God, this is gonna be uphill the whole way. We're gonna get it done, boys. I can already feel the temperature getting colder. Oh, what do we got here? A little switch back to rock slab. Let's get Josh coming around this. Yeah, that's not a place you want to stop. Oh, there we go. Sick. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, it's a sick spot. Man, this gummy tire is freaking putting in the work. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I didn't have no juice and eco there. God, my wrist is already getting sore. It's been so long since I rode. A little side hill. Ultra B loves this type of trail. Hold up. Hold up. My bike won't go. Like it, it's like turned off? Give me a second. It's trying to go, but it's like lacking in power. Already? <laughs> no, I'm good. It started going. All right, Josh having bike problems, which is not a good sign already. We're only six miles in, down to 87%. We're at 32,000 feet. Okay. Got almost crashed there. At least she's got a good horse. Oh, we got another one. We got some horses. Hello. 
All right, so far all the horse people have been nice. Granted, this is also a legal moto trail, so they can't really say anything. Oh, I'm starting to see switchbacks on the map. <laughs> Hopefully these are all the switchbacks. <laughs> these, are, these are easy. Man, once I get good suspension on this bike, this is gonna be an absolute weapon. It's already so good. Riding stuff like this, it loves it. You can just tractor this wherever. This is just switchback after switchback. Most difficult. Yes, sir. Overheating issues? I think so. I'm a little worried about battery now. All right, update. We've only done six miles and I'm down to 80%. This climb is chewing up battery. I thought we would at least get up here with like something a little bit more than that. Yeah, the problem with the e-bikes is so many different factors play into consumption, battery consumption. So it's like, you don't get a reliable, you know, 40 miles because if the terrain is just a little bit different, it's gonna vary so much. But I'm hoping with this, this is our climb. And then once we get up there, once we summit, it's all downhill. So we should be okay. We're gonna regen the hell out of the downhills. At least that's the strategy. Cause honestly, I don't really know what I'm gonna do if I run out of battery up here. We gotta stay positive. Take it nice and slow. Wash out the front tire, go over the bars, end up in the stream. The e-bikes are so nice on switchbacks. Cause one, you have the left hand rear brake, but two, just the torque, no clutch to worry about. You just kinda, you kind of hit it and commit and just give it throttle and it'll track it right up. All right, I'm down to 70% uh, when we've done eight miles. Oh God, this is, we're in it, holy shit. Oh my God, oh my God. Come on, Saran, oh, holy hell. Josh getting it done. Hold up, Paul, hold up, Paul. You're gonna wanna get a run on this. Get it, get it, get it. Big L for the e-bikes, overheating. We've only done 10 miles. All right, let's keep going up so we get out of the boys' way. Let that gummy tire eat. Oh, look at these switchbacks. Put it in reverse, tear. Yeah. Let's keep this party going. <laughs> yeah, let it cool down because we got some gnarly switchbacks up here. This must be the expert line right here. <laughs> Looks like we're almost at the top. Oh my God, boys. So I think we just, we are at the final climb. So I think now it's all downhill from here. There might be one more uphill to summit the mountain. Battery drain is uh, significant right now. Check in in a minute. I'm having range anxiety for sure. Like this is this is the type of terrain where you get range anxiety because we're basically past, and especially once we get up onto Sass Mountain, we're getting past the point of no return. Like we're in it, there's no bailouts. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So it's like, we're gonna, if we, our batteries die, like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. Off, I don't yeah. know if I have enough gas to 
tow you both. Yeah, and I, we only have one tow rope. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to set it up like a ski rope and have both ends coming off the back. It's gonna be Paul's towing service. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check in. We'll yeah, you guys, you guys are here to witness this. If we fail, we fail, and you guys can roast the e-bikes in the comments. <laughs> But hey, while you're sitting at home roasting the e-bikes, this is where we're at. We're outside. Ooh, we got some downhills, nice and steep. Well, we found the downhills. If only you had reverse on that bike. Look at Rainier, dude. We're loving it, guys. This is the most epic place I've brought this around by far. All right, regen. I gotta remind myself to regen. Regen the whole way. So if you're wondering why I'm going slow, we're harvesting all the energy we can. This is absolutely the time to try to regenerate as much battery as you can. All these dead trees from the forest fire. Oh, I was hoping we were going to be going downhill on this side. Looks like we still got to climb. And then it's a gradual downhill for the rest. Because we do not got battery to spare. This gummy tire man putting in the work. Unlimited traction. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. That's the other thing about gas bikes is you can rip them way harder when you're in places like this because you're not worried about running out of fuel. The trails are so nice. They're smooth. There's no rocks. There's just roots and the occasional stick across the trail. All right, update, we are 50%. We've done 12 and a half miles and we're going that direction. So hopefully we get some downhills in our favor to use some regen. Yeah, what are you down to? Like, yeah, you've burned a quarter of fuel. <laughs> I don't know, what, what is it? Like, it's going down this much. All right, we're gonna keep going. Oh, lordy lord. Lordy lord. Oh. Take it easy. Oh God. This is gnarly. Woo! -hoo. Very nice, very nice. I was riding too close to you and it was silt and I couldn't see that log that you got stopped on. I got stuck on it and I was like, I'm not gonna start on it. So then I tried to go around and it's all silt right there too. I was like, no. I'm just like, I get around this clown. Hey, get the hell out of my way, bro. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way.
Crawl, baby, crawl. Whew. These are some narrow peaks now. Oh, holy exposure. Oh, had to pop the front wheel up to clear the pegs. <laughs> now this is some proper single track, boys. A little rock ledge here. <laughs> oh. The bike is not struggling up this, I am. Oh, holy hell. Come on, we got this. Let's go, Ron. Let's go, Mr. Ron. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, what you know about a Suron, baby? <gasps> ah! <laughs> that was it. Too much sauce. Too much sauce. Don't be coming up here to help me. I don't need help. This is my situation to solve. <laughs> Woo! All right, we've encountered our first expert section. You guys can't tell anything. Out. Josh is taking a nap before he attempts it. Paul's ready to go. We made it. Not super clean, but I don't think there's a way to clean this. We didn't loop the bike or we didn't fall, so that's always good. Oh, you didn't even need help, dude. <laughs> All right, let me get out of the way. Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it doesn't get any better. This is some shit if I've ever seen it. <sighs> All right, here's the real freaking exposure. Josh says he's close to turning around. Brother, we don't have a turnaround. We are in it. Oh. Just whatever you do, weight your right peg and use your left foot. Do not go over. Don't look down, don't look down. Don't look down, don't look down. Let's freaking go. All right, route update. We are, at, looks like the highest peak we'll be at. That We might be over there and a little bit higher, but we have done 14 and a half miles and I'm down to 43%, which is terrible. All right, we are gonna turn up our engine regen to try to get some extra battery in. So we're gonna turn up throttle release regen and then my brake lever regen, I'm actually gonna crank that up a little bit. So that should help us with a little bit of range. Um, we'll be downhill for a little bit and then we'll probably have a few little climbs. Crispy.
All right, we gotta tighten Josh's bars because this is not the place to have your bars move on you, especially on these downhills. I was going, I was riding Green Mountain and I was going on the, one of the gnarly downhills and my bar shifted forward and naturally my wrist came back and whiskey throttled it and I almost sent it right off the trail. This isn't the place to make mistakes. <laughs> Just like that. That's, I'm not going to say it. I won't say it out loud, but if that's the only mechanical we have today, I'll take it. Oh, okay. Hello? Hello? Anybody out here? Oh, this is odd. Someone's bike's just sitting here. Yeah, I don't know. There, there's a phone with it. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Damn, someone had a bad day. Um, do you have Onyx open? Can you, can you just drop a waypoint here? All right, well, hopefully that rider's okay. Avalanche. Damn, Tokyo drifting. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Get you back up here. That's spicy. I'm glad we didn't come this way. I know, I'm getting tired. We gotta finish strong. Boys are ready for a cold beverage. I mean, that's not that bad. I was. <laughs> I think I, I would go back and just clean it with speed. I shouldn't have stopped. All right, let's get you out of this situation. <laughs> All right, I, I think the, my fault was I stopped. I should have carried momentum the whole way. Yeah. Grab the back, ready, one, two, three. <sighs> okay, thank you. I'm gonna back her up. Oh, I bent my bar and we chucked that thing. Yeah, we should be good. Thank you, sir. Okay, all right, crisis averted. Definitely bent my right handlebar. That's okay. My levers are all good. I do carry spares. Oh, this is a straight climb. We got the throttle pinned. Oh, oh, almost lost it. Oh. That is a big A tree and it's burnt, but it withstood the fire. Holy hell, thing's massive. Man, it's crazy to think I was gonna come do this alone. I would not wanna ride this alone. This would be unwise. Oh, there's Josh, all right, good. This 
is the final descent and it should pop us out up on a forest road. Oh yeah, listen to those brakes. Nice and glazed. We're all tired. We're pretty gassed. Getting a little sloppy. I already looped the bike once. Oh, some shade. It's actually been getting hot. I didn't bring any sunscreen. Luckily, Paul had some, but my arm's been burning up and my I had a road rash from my motorcycle accident. And so I have all fresh skin there and that's very sensitive to the sun. Man, what a ride. We're actually cutting off a section of this trail because we are tired. The bikes are at 40% battery. Luckily, we haven't used much going downhill. Uh, it's gonna be smart to, to bail out early, go back to camp with enough battery, and then plus we'll have some battery to hang around camp and go explore if we want. You guys probably can't see with the wide angle, but that lake is completely dried up, Clay Elm Lake. There's a little bit of standing water at the north end of the lake, but you could literally drive across the middle of the lake. Let's go, boy! Yeah! Oh, look at this. This is sick. And we found the forest road. Oh yeah, home free baby. Just taking double track. And just like that, we are back. We completed it. Epic, All right, let's get a range report. 26 miles and I'm at 32%. The battery consumption in the beginning of the ride was a little concerning, but coming down in elevation it actually worked out well. Josh used full regen. I basically used for full regen. And so I think that saved saved and charged our bikes while we were riding down. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.